Hello Libras, this is the reading for the month of August and <clears throat> what I was hearing was all I need from you is understanding. So I feel like some of you guys are dating a thug or you have feelings for a thug. Baby, I'm a thug. So I feel like some of someone here is dating a rapper or thug rapper or uh, someone that belongs in the gang. Um, or you guys... <clears throat> someone like here likes you guys need to exercise your throat chakra as well say what you need to say okay stop suppressing what you need to say um say it out loud so that they could hear you in the back okay someone here is a bus driver you drive transit buses or school buses uh maybe you're on your way to the meeting you're about to go have a meeting with the state board or the officials of the school I don't know who's a bus driver here. I also feel like someone here belongs to um, Freemason. Someone is in some type of occultism here. And I feel like you're wondering, how did you get here? You're wondering, how did you get here? How did I get here? JJ, J, Jason. Jacoby, Jaden, Jasmine, Jasmine, okay, T. Nisha, Thomas, Tank, Toby, Tash, 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 Tash. So it's like, how did you, how did you get here? How did you find yourself uh, in this position, in this state of mind, in this place, in this occultism? I feel like there's certain things you're not in agreement to with this occultism. I feel like there's certain laws and rules that they want you to abide by that you don't really want to. Uh, your name could start with a K. Kamara. Camera. Okay. K H is the initial. Um, I don't really want to say I could hear your last name. I don't want to say it. Because I feel like you you are an, a government official or you are an official. Like there's something about you that's private that you don't really want people to know about what's going on with you. But so you you're a public figure or um you you work with the government or your lawyer or you work with the justice system or the judicial system here okay there's a lot of rules and regulation that they want you to abide by that you don't really believe in um that you're fighting against and it has to be ruled by the republic and democrats so this could be a lawyer or uh this could be someone who is in the office or works around the office or works with the president or works with all right all right so um for others of you i just feel like you, you you're in this group you're in some type of occultism that you don't really agree with their rules and regulation and somebody tried to warn you before someone tried to warn you before it could have been a scorpio or water sign that tried to warn you to not join this occultism or to not join something here and you did it anyway and i feel like there could have been some type of regret here maybe you're starting to believe what somebody said that you didn't believe before about um someone that you serve or someone that you you could be a boss like or father like someone told you some things here and you did not believe it and that's what's happening because there's somebody here that feel like they could control you or they could have their way or they, they their say so is it like someone wants to it's like someone don't want you to speak up for yourself or they don't want you to speak you could even be a public figure or you're being attacked by people people having something to say about what you said and blah 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 okay people could be coming for you T S T S T S T S Madison. Okay. Um T I 
so I don't, they might feel like you 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 have you had enough to say or someone trying to shut you up like you don't have a voice or your voice doesn't matter to the public um and, and i feel like there's some haters there's some haters and you know who these people are there's some haters there's some people that don't want to see you um succeed on your own there's some people that don't um support what it is you do your brand your business okay there's some people that don't want to see you pass or succeed they want to i feel like there's some people don't want to see you fail i feel like people question you about who you're with or who you're dating for some of you that are single it's like you, you got people questioning when you're gonna have a boyfriend or when you're gonna have a girlfriend or um when are you going to date and why you're not dating and when you're gonna have a child and why you don't have a child and all this bullshit you have those things when you're ready right um, I also feel like people are asking for you or people are calling for you. Um, I feel like you have a lot of entities and spirit guides and ancestors that are protecting you uh, around you too and making sure that everything, Naisha, everything is copacetic. Um, I do feel like um, you have a great sense of humor. That's what keeps things, your, your great sense of humor and um, you going with the flow. It's what keeps you balanced, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like if you don't have a great sense of humor or you don't have a fighting chance or you don't have a way, it's like you find a way to get out of certain situations, not to be tied down with certain situations. I also feel like you know what's real and what's fake. Um, you know who's gunning for you and who's, who's not. You know who's rooting for you and who's not rooting for you. So I could just go on and on in that in that situation right there alone. But I do feel like um you guys are trying to see if this if you made the right decision. I feel like there's somebody that regrets Pisces, a Pisces. There's a Pisces that regret not moving forward with you. Or uh, there's someone here that regret whatever they did to you. I also feel like um some of you as are, are like single parents and it or it feels that way because your partner or the person you're dealing with is not really there most of the time to take care of the child with you. I feel like the child is mostly with you. You you are the primary caretaker for some of you guys. Some of you guys are the primary caretaker. Some of you could even be single parents. Okay. And I feel like um, the person you have kids with or the person you have kids by is not really contributing as much as you would like for them to contribute. Chico Bean? No, not Chico Bean. Chico? I feel like they're trying to tell me Chico that sings or Chico. I don't know. But um, I do feel like that could be frustrating sometimes. And you had to, like this person was a one-hit wonder or this person didn't really succeed as much as you did like you're still you're still a success even at this point and i feel like you had to you were the main breadwinner you had to raise the kids on your own by yourself it could be two boys by yourself without the help financial help of this person some of you guys had to do it alone without the help of somebody here um some of you are even thinking about quitting your job or someone here is thinking about quitting their job and looking for something else. I feel like you want something new, refreshing. Someone you want to even move to like, if you could move to a place where there's no worries in the world, okay? There's no worries in the world. I'm going to say that again. You will move immediately to a place where there's no worries in the world, where there's, it's just peaceful and nobody's worried about the other person's success. Nobody's worried about how much this person is making and how much whatever they got is going on. Nobody will be worried about that. You want a peaceful life. You want a peaceful place. If you could move to the countryside where nobody knows where your location, where you stay, you would do that. I feel like you're very private. Someone here, you might even have a private home where nobody knows where the location is. Is this CIA? I don't know. Cause somebody is like a secret agent. Like you don't, you don't, either you're a secret agent or you're, um, 
celebrity. And you don't, you don't, you're very private. You don't want people to know where you reside. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what else. Kaish, Kai, Kaisha. Tony. Tony. Please say F baby. Please say the baby. Okay. Um, some of you it's like the person you're with or the person you're dealing with um don't really have a timeline on when you're going to get married. So you could have been engaged for four years, three years or so, and, and someone someone could even been been together with someone for like sixteen, seventeen years. And it's like um there's no wedding or um someone is not really giving you a date to when you guys are going to get married. Um that could be frustrating or um i feel like someone don't really want to be tied out also this could be you or the other person i feel like someone don't want to be tied out i feel like someone don't believe in monogamous they believe in poly polygamous um relationship they believe in having multiple wives or husband okay And they might not be telling you this because they don't want you to leave them alone, okay? Because somebody cares about you deeply, and they don't want to lose you. But I feel like for some of you guys, there's a done deal here. The check is signed. Everything is, is signed. We're done. It's over. Um, You've made your choice to go the other way. Um, You've made the choice to wash your hand off of a situation here that you were dealing with either from the past I feel like this could even be co-workers, people you used to work with, people used to help you with your computer, with your editing, um, and you, you're cleaning your hands. Uh, so you might have a YouTube channel, okay? Um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, this could even be a TV show. Like, you, you're in a TV show, and there's people that have to edit certain things for you, and there's some ties here you got to cut out in order to move forward to your next step. And it's going to be fine. You could still be cool with these people. But I feel like someone here has checked out. Okay? Libras. Whew. I also feel like there's people that um, want to keep you hidden. And they don't want you to come out and do your reading. So you could be... I feel like someone here is thinking about... Um, I don't like using the term psychic. So I'm not going to say that. Someone here is um, a terror reader. Um someone here is very very intuitive um someone is into esoteric um spirituality crystals okay singing bowls um you know cleansing you know what i'm saying aroma therapy some might even have the witch sign on red but um I feel like you have curly hair. Your hair is very curly and long. Um, you might have a mole on your face. But anyway, um, I do feel like sometimes you have to take a break from people. I also feel like someone could be thinking about uh, a reader or someone could be watching a reader. Okay. I feel like your grandma is your, your your grandma is around you. You inherited your gift from your grandmother. You might have thought it was your mother for somebody here, but it was your grandmother. Maybe your name starts with a T or N. I hear the name, but I'm not gonna say because I know who this reader is. All right. So I feel like certain things certain things here are in your in your head um i feel like someone here is concerned about what uh what they're putting out out there i feel like someone here is concerned and worried someone here could be having headaches
Okay. You could be feeling like um, there's a lot of things on you right now. Some might feel that way. There's a lot of things riding on them right now. Um, that they can't help. They can't help it. I feel like someone could be having nightmare. Someone could be having some nightmares here. You're waking up in the middle of the night. Someone could be dealing with PTSD. Stressed out. Okay. Watch Pisces reading. Okay. You might have anxiety issues or some type of anxiety. There's an Aries here that, don't, that, that wants to control you. Jive records. Okay, cool. Okay. So let's see what we have for Libras. 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 Okay, so I feel like you haven't spoken to your daughter or you want to speak to your daughter. You haven't spoken to... You might have Gemini Moon or Rising, but you haven't spoken to your daughter in a while. Or there's a message you're waiting for from somebody. Um, so I feel like you and somebody's not talking here. You're cutting somebody out of the equation here. Um, you don't want to move forward with this person. You don't want to um, continue on with someone here. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual. You don't. There's something here you don't want to finish with someone. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys are ready to close the chapter. I feel like with this person, it feels like it triggers your PTSD. Okay? It triggers something within you. It causes anxiety. So I feel like there's someone here. There could be a Capricorn here that you're keeping certain things to, away from. You're not really telling this person what's going on with you. You keep it to yourself. Okay, and I feel like there's certain things this person doesn't tell you because they don't want you to be worried about it. They're concerned for you. It's like this person don't want to say certain things to trigger certain things from you. And I feel like um, this is why this is coming to an end or you want to end it or they want to end it. I feel like you guys might even have an agreement. There could be agreement. Okay, if I'm cheating on you, if I'm cheating on you, we will not talk about it. We will not discuss it because I don't feel comfortable discussing this with you. You could even be, you could be on a show called Put It, Put, what I think called? Put, Put On A Ring or Put A Ring On It. Yeah, something like that. You could be on that show where, you you already established you have an established relationship with your partner but you guys have made an agreement or decision to date other people in that show on that show okay and that could be what's going on here where someone is being triggered seeing you dating other people your partner is being triggered the anxiety and insecurity is coming in because or someone's insecurity and anxiety is popping up because you, you're you watching your partner or someone is watching you date other people. But that's something that you guys agreed on. Or well, someone here can't take it. Someone here can't take it. There's a new offering here and <clears throat> there's a new offering here and someone can take you being with somebody else or you going on a date with somebody else or vice versa here. I feel like um, this anxiety or this PTSD or whatever this is, this mental situation here, keeps you jailed. It keeps you stagnant. It keeps you confused. Um, and it is illusions, okay? These are all illusions here. Um, and I feel like you know this, like Libras. I feel like y'all can see through this shit. Yeah, y'all can see through. I feel like something here, a reconnection, a reconciliation is going to restore your faith. It could be with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You might have done your chart, 
but I feel like um, there's someone that's a star here. Um, this person probably heals for a living. This could be you or them. Um, and I feel like that you're trying to reconnect with. I don't know if you want to apologize to this person or make peace with this person. Yeah, you want to talk to this person. You want to say your, your part, okay? I feel like you took a break from this person for quite some time. Or, or you guys are taking a break from maybe doing readings and stuff like that. And you're coming back or you came back here. Okay. I also feel like some of you took a break from a uh, uh, earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And they came back. This person could have a daughter for you. Or they might have a daughter. Um, whoever this is, is very creative when it comes to dressing up. This could be your energy too. Um, maybe this person likes to wear fishnets uh, or see-through or wear pink hair or ash color or platinum or wear colorful shoes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here loves to dress up. All right. They enjoy dressing or looking spunky. Um, they spike it up, you know. Um I do feel like this person, whatever this is that you're dating or dealing with, they have some insecure issues here where they feel like they feel like you actually I'm getting males too. They feel like you Demetrius, Dimitri. Okay. Um, they feel like you put them in a position where they always gotta be on guard. That's how this person feels. They have to be on guard with you, um, okay? Or this person, whenever they come around you, they have to be on guard. Even if you're not triggering it. Uh, you could have been the one to trigger it, or it could have been a past relationship situation where they haven't overcame that. And I feel like they're not being vulnerable, or they're not letting their guard down. Because of you or uh, somebody else here. Yeah, so I feel like there's some skeleton in the closet here. There's some secrets here that has been withheld. Some of you could even have your guard up when it comes to your mother because there's certain things they're not telling you. It could even be certain things about DNA or who your real mother is, who your real parent is. Someone has insecurities here. Hucha, Libras. There's an insecure pattern that's going on here. Let me use a different deck. What else? What other messages do you have for me? Yes. For the month of August 2021. I feel like you guys are going to take your power back. I feel like you've been hurt. This person has a lot to say about you, but really, you could be the, you're the best thing that ever happened to this kid, or you you you're like the best the best dad, the best father ever. This person could have downgraded your fatherhood, and you know, and you're the best as long as you think you're the best in something, and it's logical. You're logical about it, okay? Because you're a Libra, you of course you're logical about it. There's nothing this person could say that should affect you. Okay, because someone is spreading lies about you, about how you raise your child, how you raise your children, or um, how you do things here. Yeah, there go the. Some of you guys are readers. Um, someone here smokes a lot, or you smoke. Smoke weed. All right. I feel like um, someone here is using their intuition. To know someone knows that you you you're about to apologize or you're going to apologize to them, or um, there's a need to apologize here. I feel like there's a need for you to apologize to a Pisces Moon or Pisces. If not a Pisces, or there's a need for someone to apologize to you. It could be a water sign, a Pisces water sign. I think I said that in the beginning of this reading. Um, someone from your past needs to apologize to you because 
they wanted you to be all over the place. This person wanted to fuck with your emotions. Um, yep, someone needs to apologize to you. Or oh, there's a need for you to apologize to someone. But I feel like someone needs to apologize to you, though. Um, I feel like it could be Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What I said, a water sign, okay? It could be a water sign, male or female. Earth sign, male or female. Or there's an apology that needs to be rendered here. Okay? You could be um, a superstar, a rapper. I've seen a rapper here. Okay? You might need to apologize to the gay community. Okay? Yep. An apology needs to be made to... Um, so there could be some homophobic situation here. And someone needs to apologize to the public, to the public, all right? To apologize to the public. Um, I feel like someone sees you as a threat. Someone sees you as you're well off. You got your shit together, all right? I do feel like some of you guys are looking into buying a car. You could have been saving up um, for nine months now, or you could be you could be buying this car in the month of September or this month. This month is actually right now, so in the month of September, or maybe even before. I feel like some of you might felt like something that you wanted did not happen. Okay. Something you wanted with a cancer. Or um, I feel like some of you are traveling. You're also moving. I also feel like some of you guys could be in a tug of war with your partner. I do feel like um, you felt like what you've been manifesting for is not happening. It's not coming to reality here. Some of you are single. You feel like you have to fight all the time. You have to be in an argument. you rather be single than be with somebody that wants to argue all the damn time. I feel like there's somebody here that likes to argue. So you chose, um, could be a Leo, could be a Cancer, could be a Fire Science, could be a Virgo, a Gemini. Yeah, I feel like you'd rather be with yourself. I also feel like there's something you're trying to do or buy. Uh, there's a way you accumulate money and there's a lot of com competition with how you make money. There's a lot of people that's in that business too. Okay. But there's something about you that's special. Okay. That, that, yeah, there's something, and you come in your elements, Libras. There's something about you that's special that the people want you though. People want to communicate with you. People wants to want to make money with you. People wants to want to collaborate with you. Okay. Cause you're special. Yep, 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 and yep. Okay. I do feel like um, someone here could be sending messages and they're sending it through a third party account, but they're not telling you about it. Like, Lucretia or Chris, Chrisa. I know I'm getting coach. Coach Bethany. 